Uh, this video is about making modules in Raptor. Modules might go by other names in other programming languages, such as subroutines, functions, procedures, but in general they refer to the same type of thing. Um, and the book is not going to help you to create a modular uh, depiction of a program in Raptor, but it does do a good job of explaining the benefits of modules which I will explain uh, momentarily. But in the meantime, uh, let me tell you what kind of program I'm going to make here. I'm just going to make a program that calculates the area of a rectangle, as you can read. And I'm going to start by making it in a non-modular way. I'm going to make it without uh, using a module, just so we can compare the difference. Uh, so as mentioned, the, there are many benefits of modules. Uh, one is that it helps you to just think of the overall problem. You don't have to think of the details. You can think more broadly about a problem. Uh, it also helps for reusability. You might need to do the same type of task in multiple programs, and you could just take that module out and put it into a different program. Also, if you're cooperating and collaborating with somebody and making a program, uh, you could each be responsible for different modules and, and work on them independently and then bring them together. Um, so when you're developing a program, you might start by it might start by not using modules, and it gets complicated, and you and you want to start using modules. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. Um, and I'm going to start by putting the calculations just in an assignment symbol. And this is going to be a very s simple uh, calculation, but you could imagine in some programs it might be more complicated, a lot of lines of code or a lot of symbols. And you don't really want to have to look at that when you're conceptualizing the pro pro problem. You want to leave the details of that um, to not concern yourself with. So while it's really going to complicate your programs at the beginning when you're learning modules, it's actually going to make them um, easier in the long run. And as you should know, uh, Raptor isn't quite a programming language, it's more of a flowcharting tool, so it doesn't enforce some of the rules that you're likely to see in programming languages when it comes to modules. Specifically, there is no concept of scope, which I'll talk about again in a moment. But I want to draw your attention to this call symbol. That's how we're going to make a module in Raptor. So I'm going to drop that call symbol in uh, right after my calculation because I'm, that's what I'm going to move into the module. The book might not tell you exactly how it wants you to make a modular program, but just to make a modular one. Um, but use, doing calculations in a module is a very common way of doing it. When it comes to naming a module, you're going to want to put an action word in there, because modules usually perform an action. In this case, calculate area. You can have uh, no spaces in your module names in most programming languages, and Raptor is no different. Notice it asks if you want to create a tab. You always want to say yes to that. I'll save this so we can continue working. And notice I've got a new tab up here next to main, which you might not have ever noticed before. But main itself was a module of sorts before. And we've got a new start and end symbol. And for the purposes of this program, I'm just going to cut my assignment box out of main and put it in between the start and end of my calculate area module. Now, I mentioned before that Raptor does not have scope. This means that even though uh, side one and side two were created in main, we can still access them in the calculate area module. Most programming languages wouldn't let you do this without passing those variables, right? Because the calculate area would be outside of the scope of those variables. Usually you can only use a variable in the module in which it was created. But Raptor does not concern itself with that. Right? And that's just because Raptor is not truly a programming language. It's uh, to help you create a flowchart, help you think about a problem. Uh, so you can choose to put any part of your program in a module, and you might want to change that at any point. Um, just to demonstrate the process again and to show you how you could also make a separate module for, for getting input, for instance. I'm going to highlight the call symbol again, click it, make sure to create a tab, and I go back to my main and I will cut and paste 
uh, between main and my new module, but you could have just as easily put them in the new module to begin with.